Hello everyone and welcome. In this video you're going to learn why focusing on a single SNP or genetic alteration such as MTHFR can lead to more health problems rather than more health balance. For those of you that don't know, uh, SNP is abbreviation for single nucleotide polymorphism and what that is is that basically it changes slightly how your DNA works changing proteins which ultimately change how you feel. Hi, my name is Dr. Taranella and today I'm going to share with you some common symptoms of two common SNPs, MTHFR and COMT. And comparing these, you're going to see why looking at the whole person rather than focusing on a single symptom or a single SNP is more important. This is exactly the way that I've helped hundreds of people achieve more health balance and by treating the whole person, you're going to see why this is the best way. So let's take a look. Okay, so here we have two common SNPs, MTHFR and COMT. You can see that, uh, well, just briefly, uh, MTHFR stands for methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase, and COMT stands for catechol or methyl transferase. These do totally different things in your body, and if you want to know more, you can look at our blog or, or you know, research these on your own. I'm not going to cover that in this video. What I did want to cover is some of the common symptoms and how they overlap. So you can see for MTHFR, it's anxious mood, depressed mood, fatigue, and chronic pain or prone to injury. For COMT, you can see that they're exactly the same. Now what's different is that the source of these symptoms are not coming from the same place. As I said, these enzymes do two totally different things. Now there is some overlap, but the, the reason for the commonality in the symptoms is probably not from that overlap. The problem is with looking at symptoms alone is that symptoms are one dimensional and there are different reasons why someone feels anxious or depressed. For example, a person with MTHFR alteration and no COMT uh, may be more laid back but feel anxious to perform and generally feel more depressed than fatigued uh, or de uh, both depressed and fatigued rather than anxious. While the person with COMT oftentimes feels COMT alone now with no MTHFR is going to feel more anxious and worried about almost everything and only feels depressed when the, when the anxiety gets out of control or they feel like there's no solution to the anxiety. Now keep in mind some people can have both and this is not the only factor that influences these symptoms. There's other SNPs, for instance, that can have similar things. There's deficiencies in enzyme uh, or deficiencies in vitamins that can also lead someone to have these symptoms. There's envir environmental things. So the idea is that, you know, we're dynamic humans uh, interacting with our environment. Our genes are interacting with our environment. And you can't just look at a single SNP. When you do, it creates an artificial one-dimensional scenario. If you find you do have MTHFR and you have all these symptoms and you start taking methylfolate, you may feel very bad. And that's because you're not taking into account all these other factors. So the point is, uh, symptoms don't tell you the whole picture, nor do your genetics. Using both together with an understanding of how they fit within the whole picture of your health can really help you maintain and achieve better health. And if you want more information on achieving health balance, check out my course. There's a link above uh, on balancing your health with genetics.